Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Wednesday, May 16, 2018. And I finally got to the day that my heart doctor appointment was and I went to him. And I have my water today. And it seems I passed inspection because he said go away for a year. <laughs> so now I'm semi-calm and I'm gonna give you guys a few more tips. Somebody asked me to do an FBA. And the crazy thing is every pattern I pick up has some weird reason why I can't do it. <laughs> so what I'm going to work on and show you just some things as I'm going along is this pattern right here because it's kind of new and different. It's 8602 Simplicity. And I'm making this view up here with the sleeve that's not too crazy. It's just like got a little slit on the side and it's bell shaped. I don't want some big gathered up fluffy thing out here make me look like a bird. <laughs> and why are you semi-nude, Joy? <laughs> the thing about it is I can't show you what I want to show you unless I'm semi-naked. I tell you, I almost just came in here with my bra on, so be glad. <laughs> when I cut this out, I figured out that I was going to, um, be able to choose a bust size. I did not realize that. If you look at this pattern down here at the very bottom, can you see the little bra? It doesn't say anything. It's just a picture of a bra. But it turns out that if it has a picture of that bra on the pattern, that it has bust cup sizing in it. So yay. So it goes B, I think it starts at B. B size, cut B, C, D, and D, D. Okay, so I cut out the front that is, see up here the one D? The D is the bust size. So in this pattern, there is a front with a B and a front with a C. And there's also a front with a D, D. So how cool is that? So you're thinking, yay, you don't have to do anything with the bust. How easy it is when you put on these patterns that are made for these 18 year old girls you know their boobs are clear up here in their armpits <laughs> so um, I had to move mine down one and a half inches and the way I figured that out was I pinned the back to the front and I pinned it together at the shoulders and I just put it on my body Okay, I put it on my body, and the bust dart was clear up here at the top of this white line. So I just made a little circle where I'm actually at in the lower regions. <laughs> and then I measured to see how much I needed the bust dart to move down. Then all I did was take a red pencil and draw a line all the way across at the top and I drew a line all the way across at the bottom. Then I drew another line uh, inch and a half down from the bottom line. So I drew three lines. One at the top of the bus dart, one at the bottom of the bus dart. Just be sure you're above it and below it. An eighth of an inch, a quarter inch, just be sure you're above and below it because you're gonna cut that out and move it up or down. I'm sure it would be down <laughs> if you're over 18. <laughs> so anyway, I just folded it down one and a half inches. Then I cut it up here and I added, let me fill this in so you can see just in case, uh, sometimes this camera doesn't show what I need it to show. One and one half inch. So hopefully you can see this writing and see what I added there. See where I put the arrow? One and a half inch. So I just cut the bus dart out and moved it down. Then I drew lines over here. I drew a straight line down from the center front. I drew a straight line down from this line showing it's placed on the fold so I could line the bottom back up. You have to line the bottom back up here with the center front. It's going to throw it off a little bit over here. But you're just going to redraw your line from this point to this point. You're going to fold the bust dart in, 
Then you're going to redraw your line from this point to this point, and then you'll have your new side seam. Awesome! <laughs> so, I just wanted to show you that easy tip for moving the dart. Now I'm going to do my other alterations, and I'm cutting out a size 14. I am not a size 14. I'm probably a size 45 or something. <laughs> But when I sew, I choose a pattern by my upper bust, by up here. I've gained 10 pounds, you know, so I have to re-measure everything. So, you measure up above, up here, and you want it tight. You want to know your bones, your rib cage, and I measure 36. And so when I find 36 bust, even though my bust is 42, I find a 36 bust, and I use that size. And in this case, it's a size 14. So obviously, I'm going to have to add at the side seams. But the shoulders and this area in here are going to fit me really good because I'm picking the pattern that fits up here, okay? And so all I'll have to do is add out here at the side seams, probably, I'll put an inch out there, and then I'll pin it back on, and I'll mark it to see where I really need to sew it. But before I do that, I'm going to narrow the neckline in the front. I'm going to narrow the neckline in the back. I'm going to do a round back, and I'm going to do a sway back. And then... I'm going to pin it together, and I'm going to come back and show it to you, the paper pattern on my body, okay? And again, this is Simplicity 8602. And let me give you another little tip, you new seamstresses. If you're just learning how to sew and you go buy a pattern, my mother, my mother was an awesome seamstress. She had three little girls and she used to sew for all three of us. Three dresses, three pair of pants, three tops. And I used to watch her and she sewed for herself. She would open up a new pattern and she would go sit in a chair somewhere and she would take scissors because there weren't rotary cutters then and she would cut out every single pattern piece in that envelope. I do not do that. I find what I'm making on this instruction sheet right there. I'm making top A. It says top A needs pieces one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I cut out pieces one, two, three, four, five, and six in a size 14 and the rest of it goes on a pile in the floor. It's over there in a the floor, great big stack. <laughs> Am I going to throw it away? No, no, no. I'll fold it up and I'll put it back in here. But for now, I only want to work with six pieces, okay? And always, always iron them because they come super wrinkled up. Always iron them. I trim mine with a rotary cutter so I have all of my pieces nicely trimmed and nicely ironed. Now, here's another little tip. <laughs> when you start putting tape on your pattern, like I have tape on this pattern. The rule is, not my rule, it's Palmer Plesh. Palmer Plesh is the one that teaches you how to fit with paper. That book I'm always talking about, Fit for Real People. Buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it. It's fabulous. Fit for Real People. They're the ones that show you how to do the tissue. And they say, put the tape on the front and always iron on the back once the tape is on because if that iron hits that tape it is a mega mess and you'll spend the next hour trying to clean up your iron and you throw your pattern in the trash okay i'm going to do all the little changes that i do in this i'm going to pin the paper together and i'm going to put it on my lovely outfit and show it to you okay i'll be back i want to show you something very important to do when you're working with the paper outfit. And I remind you, this is Palmer and Plesh. There's videos for free you can watch. Just Google or, or search on YouTube for Palmer Plesh. I think it's Melissa Watson does one with a girl. 
and shows you how she puts it on the girl, the paper on the girl, how she fixes the paper. And this is one of their things. When I try this paper on my body, it's going to tear because it's paper. So to keep it from tearing, you have to reinforce the armholes and the neckline. And sometimes the side seam, but since I don't know where the side seam is, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I've added my one inch on the front. I've added my one inch on the back, all the way down the side. There was extra paper on the pattern paper. So I just cut it off and used it for my extension. So what I have done, and hopefully you can see with the light, is I have taken a 5 8 inch something, put it here on the side, the edge of the armhole, and I have made little pink lines to mark the 5 8 inch sewing line. Then I'm taking tape. Your tape should be the half inch wide tape. It's cheaper. Why buy three quarter inch? Half inch works better and it's cheaper. And you tear off about one inch pieces and you line it up on the inside, not the outside, the inside of the seam line. Let me see, where's the one I just showed you, the neckline? So you take the tape, I've got one that's not done yet, I thought. Yeah, this one right here isn't done yet. You take the tape and you tape it under the line that you just drew, okay? Under. And you do one inch pieces and you go all the way around on the inside of that line. So I've got both necklines taped and both armholes taped. So what you do now, and don't faint. Let me give you guys a little tip. When these patterns are on sale for like a five for five dollars, or they're a dollar forty nine a piece, or a dollar ninety nine a piece, pick a pattern and buy three of them. Buy three of them, three bucks. The most it could be is six bucks. So you can play with them like this. And if you screw one up, I did yesterday. I screwed one completely up, watered up and ball through in the trash. I just went and bought it again today. So, yes, even me. <laughs> What it was, was a pattern that had color blocking. So there was a piece here, a piece in the middle, and a piece under that. And um, I taped them all together and tried to do an FBA in it. Well, with those seam lines in there and the bus dart in it, when I got through with it, that bus dart was so <laughs> obtuse, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how on earth to put it back together. <laughs> so... Start out with a solid front when you're learning to play with patterns. It makes it so much easier. Okay? So, I'll be back in a minute when I get this together and I put it on me and I'll show you why the tape, okay? Stay with me. Okay. This is looking really good. I now have a paper blouse. It doesn't have the sleeves in it yet, but it has a side seam in it and it has the shoulders together. And I want you to see what I have done up here to the neckline. I have the tape on it, and I've made all of these little clips to where the tape is. I've done the same thing on the arms. Can you see all those little clips I've made? All those little clips. And so it is clipped into the 5 8 inch line. And there's the tape. You can see it. And it has all these clips. Hopefully you can see them. So, when I put it on, those seam lines are just going to open up and spread instead of tearing. Because when the blouse is made, those are going to be sewn and trimmed and inside. And so, and there's no way you can tell where the neckline is going to lay on you if you don't trim that 5 8 inch seam. See here, all these cuts I made. How many do you make? I don't know. Just make some. Every, here's a half inch, here's three quarter inch, here's three quarter inch, here's a half inch. <laughs> Just make some. Then put your bus dart in. And this is really good if you have Philly over and she can help you. I've got the round back in. So you can see that this 5 8 inch thing lands right on my bone right there. It lands right on my bone. If I didn't have that round back correction, this would be way down there someplace. And I would constantly be pulling my blouse forward all the time because there wouldn't be enough fabric back there. And so it would keep pulling it back because it needs more fabric. 
So since I put the extra fabric, it will stay up there on my neck mold where it belongs. The bust art is down here where my bust is instead of way up here where it started out. Okay? Now, this is when I decide if the neckline gapes or not. My center front, you can see here is my center front, and if I move this over to my center front, this is going to gap. Yep, it is about my usual amount. So I will take out my usual amount out of this neckline. The side seams with the extension, you want to make sure this meets your center front. The center back and the center front are cut on the fold. So you want to make sure they meet there. Mine does. This comes, maybe it's tabbed past my center front, which is good. It's got some ease. It's got some ease. I have not put the sway back in yet. And I have not narrowed the back neck yet because I wanted to make sure I needed it. But the sway back, you can't put in until you know how far out your side seam is going to be because the sway back has to go all the way to the side seam. So since I've added a half inch of paper over there, I need to make sure I'm not going to cut off. No, I've added a whole inch of paper, and I need it all. And I just wanted to make sure, because you need to know where that seam line is, to cut your sway back to it. Okay? I hope this is making sense. I am going to take the fullness out of the neck. Put a bit where you chop, chop it all up, Joy. Oh my gosh, it looks like chopped liver. Yes, it does. But you do see how it slid on my body and fit me really good. I'll just tape that back together. you got to have a lot of tape, you guys. I'll show you the tape. This is invisible tape. Half inch. And you throw it on the floor and then you pick it up. This is half inch invisible tape. You want to use invisible tape where you're not sure you want it to stay forever. When you're just testing, like when I moved the bus dart down, I used invisible tape in case I wanted to tear it off and move it farther down or lift it back up a little bit. Then there is the permanent tape, which is this stuff only. The Scotch Magic Tape, only it comes in half inch also. It comes in green boxes like this. This one's um, three quarters and this one's one half. You want to get the halves. It works so much better. Amazon, my friends. Order it from Amazon. You'll use lots of tape. If you're going to make paper clothes and try on paper clothes, you're going to need a lot of tape. But be patient. Go slowly. If you mess up the pattern, if you totally screw it up like I did yesterday, I mean, it is totally wadded up and in the trash here someplace. <laughs> Consider it a dollar and a half or a dollar ninety nine that you spent for a class. That's the way I look at it. I say, okay, that was a class. Look what I learned. And I'll take what I learned and I'll take the class again and I pull out another pattern and then I start over on it. Philly and I have done this for years and years and years. And every once in a while we still screw up a pattern. We just can't figure it out, so we throw it away. Now with SureFit Designs, you're like, well, what about SureFit Designs? <laughs> with SureFit Designs, you're going to end up with a front and a back that is much, much closer to you. I wouldn't have had to add side seams if this was SureFit Designs. I wouldn't have had to move the bus dart down if this was SureFit Designs. I wouldn't have had to make a smaller top and a bigger bottom if this was SureFit Designs, okay? But I like to know what to do with the commercial pattern because I do not like to go to all of the work to change my SureFit Designs into a different pattern unless it's very simple. But if somebody's already gone to the trouble to make this cute little sleeve and make it all modern and stuff, I want to just use the pattern, okay? <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to put the sway back in this, narrow the neck, check the back, and start putting it together, and I'll get back and show you how it all turns out, okay? Okay, let me show you something real quick. I had to move the bus start down another half inch because when I put it all up on me, all done, and I marked my apex, it was a half inch lower still, we're talking about <laughs> the lower regions of the body. I have lowered my bust dart to 
whole inches. So after I did that, I sliced the neck. Remember I showed you the other day? I sliced the front neck all the way down to my apex. Let me show you on the front instead of the back. <laughs> Did anybody think that I was a professional while well, they thought wrong? <laughs> I do this for fun, people. <laughs> the two people that want to know why my clothes fit me, I'm just trying to show you. So here's the deal. I moved the bus start down. Then I found my apex, found it was half inch large, so I moved it some more. Then I drew a line down to the apex, and I drew a line from the center of the dart over to the apex. And I want you to see what a tiny little sliver. See that little sliver of white? This has a D dart in it. I don't need any bigger dart at all. And several of you have said, well, won't it make too big of a dart? No, because all you've done is take this, which was too much fabric for you, and you've stuck it over here instead. And so this is going to suck it up, okay? It's not going to make the boob part any different. It's just going to make this part fit you better. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just know it works. <laughs> okay? I'll be back after I get it cut out. Okay. Don't forget, when you add to the side seams of the front and the back, you have to add to the side seams of the sleeve. Now this is a two-piece sleeve that goes together like this in the middle. So this together is a sleeve. So I didn't add anything in the middle. And I didn't add it the whole way down either because I have little bitty arms. I don't need to add any fullness at the bottom. So I just added it up here at the top because if I don't add it here at the armhole curve, it's gonna to be too small to fit into the addition I added onto the blouse, okay? Not only that, you have to redraw your facings, okay? There's a front facing and a back facing. I've lowered the front uh, about hmm, maybe half an inch. Well, not quite that much. I cut it down to the size 12. That's how much I cut off the front. I can't stand things <laughs> up here choking me. <laughs> so I cut it down a little bit. <laughs> So I will have to redraw the facing. That is so simple. Slap a piece of paper on there and draw your own facing. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so let me show you real quick the facings. I was able to take the back facing and just put a round back in it. Okay, so where's my back? Here's my back. Here's my round back up here. And this is the facing. And I just sliced it open, put a round back in it, and added paper, okay? So the back facing has round back correction, and the back. You can't always do that, but it worked well this time. Now the front is such a mess and changed so much that the facing was just a disaster, so I just drew a new facing. Because I have taken fullness out, and I've lowered it, so there's my new facing. I just started over and drew a new facing, okay? For the 5,000th time, I'll be back. Well, all right, first try on of the actual blouse. It's quarter after five, and I don't think I started this project until, oh my gosh, two o'clock or later. So a little over three hours to open the brand new pattern and get to this point with all of the adjustments I made. Ah, uh, it's not coffee, it's just water. So see, plenty of room in the bottom. It's got little side slits here. Now remember how I picked a pattern that was too small for me. I picked it by my upper bust, which was 36. So that was a size 14. I had to add an inch to each side, so that's two inches total. But look at the shoulders. The shoulders are perfect. The neck is perfect. It doesn't gap. It's gonna be down 5 eighths inch. It's not gonna gap at all. The back has a center back seam. I didn't realize it till I made it. I thought, how am I gonna get this on? <laughs> so the center back seam is fine because that's what you need with the roller coaster back. And so, I don't even have the sleeves cut out yet because I gotta put it on hold. I'm going to my other house tomorrow and I probably need to stop and, and start packing. But I just wanted to show you the bust. Here's the bust dart, here's me. Bust dart me. Perfect. Perfect. 
Now remember, this blouse had B, C, D, and D, D darts. So look for those kind of patterns. Um, was this Simplicity? Who was this, Unicity? Yeah, Simplicity. And remember, it didn't even say, I didn't even know it, it just had that little picture of a bra on the front. But, I am real excited at this fit, I really am. This is just some material I had in my stash. I made one kind of like it, but it's different. The bust, the darts are a little bit long, but I think they're okay. I think they're okay. They're back about an inch. Round back, sway back. See the sway back? See, I don't know if you can tell way over here, but the front is to here and the back is to here. Can you see? They should be level. It wouldn't be level if I had left that sway back in there. Either that or it would be level and it would have a whole great big glob of fabric right here. But see, it's smooth. That glob of fabric is gone. So, very nice. So, I hope the sleeves are cute, but I'll be back and show you when I get them in so you can see if it is or not. This might be a fun pattern for y'all to try. I sure am enjoying it. Anyway, I'll be back when I get it made. Okay, here I am. This is the last clip on this video. I have got to get my stuff all packed up and get ready to go back home to my other house. But I have one sleeve in, a tip. I always make my sleeves before I put them in. I put the hem in them, I finish them, I gather them of course, and I do everything that's got to be done to the sleeve except put it in before I put the sleeve in. So I've still got to finish this one, that's why it's not in yet. So I'm just going to stand like, how can you see just half of me? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh. I need one of those mirrors where you hold up and half of you shows on the other side. Anyway, I don't know if I'm crazy about the sleeve. I lifted it 7 8 inch up here at the shoulder cap. I added 7 8 inch on it. Otherwise, it would be pulling way up like this on me because the cap was way short. So, I did that correction. The back has a center back seam. So instead of taking the tuck in this part here, I just can um, take a bigger seam right here to make that fit my back better. And I don't have that part done yet. It's, uh, you know, it's going to have a facing. This is going to be 5 8 inch lower. The back will be 5 8 inch lower. And guess what? I was able to take an inch out of each side up here. I needed it in at the hip, but I didn't need it up here. So, thank goodness I made the size 14. So, now see I added an inch to the front and an inch to the back, so that was a total of two inches. Took a half inch off the front, a half inch off the back, so that's a total of an inch off. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then I was able to cut the extra half inch off the sleeve that I added on so it would fit in. So, I think the fit is wonderful. I'm very happy with it. Here's a bust dart. Now, remember the bust dart. I made the cut from the neckline down here to the apex and from the apex through the bust dart. And a lot of you have said, oh no, that's going to make your bust dart bigger. Look at it. It's perfect. It didn't make a pleat. It didn't make a line. It didn't do anything. It just made this lay against my upper chest. See how it lays on me? This thing, if I'd have made this thing the size of my bust, it, it would be way out of here. All kinds of puff and fluff. And I don't need any more puff and fluff on this body. So, I don't know if I forgot to tell you anything. This one's real easy. I would suggest you guys try this. Try this. I didn't do all the adjustments that are possible in the world. There's a forward shoulder adjustment. There's, if you're making pants, high hip, low hip. Um, some people are asymmetrical, as I am in the shoulders, but I've taken care of the asymmetrical shoulder. Um, all kinds of different things. Uh, the sleeves in this, for you ladies that have big upper arms, mine are bones, as you know. Um, 
this is big. It's big and it's fluffy. So it would be a fun sleeve to make. It's just, looks like a big ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's called a bell sleeve. <laughs> okay, I'm giddy and nutty. I gotta go. If you want to know anything else, if I can explain it or I know how to do it, I'll be happy to tell you. But I've got to go start packing and get ready to go to my other house. So I'm going to upload this and you'll probably be able to see it in like an hour maybe because I have to edit it first. But uh, this is fast internet house, remember? So I'll get it uploaded so you can see it. And I will be back from Kingston. Next time you see me, I have no clue what I'll be talking about. <laughs> Bye.